Looking to get your Necromech so you can complete the new wall or just run around an awesome looking mech and shoot things? I'm Tipsy and today we'll be going over how to get your Necromech and get ready to actually do your new wall quest. So before we start, there was an update on October the 18th, which basically makes obtaining your Necromech a lot easier. We will be going over this new way of actually obtaining it, which is basically you can do bounties and level up a reputation with Lloyd and then buy the broken parts you will need to actually craft the Necromech. So step one of obtaining your Necromech is the blueprints. First, you have to complete the Heart of the Amos quest which you'll see here to access the demos which is basically an area where you will have to do all of the things to get the necromech as you see the rewards here will be the void rig blueprints and the different parts for it after this is done you now have access to demos as well as the bounties you will need to actually get the reputation for lloyd and also the parts to craft the necromech step two is getting access to lloyd and actually farming the rank one to use the new pity system so to get to lloyd quickly you can just jump out of your warframe and then go to your fast travel right here in the necrolist fast travel and then click on Lloyd. That will take you straight to Lloyd and you will be able to check your standing right here. Lloyd will then sell you the damaged Necromech parts after you reach rank 1 with him, which is basically the parts you need for the Void Rake blueprints. So you can straight up buy them here or you could also get lucky and get them in the Vault Bounties which we will be going over in a bit. So for rank 1 you will need 5000 reputation and then after that you will need 2500 rep per piece of broken Necromech parts you will need. As you see in the picture right here, these are the resources you will actually need to level up your reputation with Lloyd. So first you will need 10 orientation matrixes, 150 void traces, 1 Siamos barrel blueprint and 20 follow tokens. So to farm his reputation and rank up with the materials, we need to run the isolation bolt 1 you can find at Mother. To get the right matrix, we will need 10 off to actually rank up from level 0 to 1. I recommend using Necros during this because his disintegrate ability actually gives you the chance of having an additional drop. So instead of getting one matrix every run, you might be able to get two matrixes. This will basically cut your run time in half, so you only need to run 5 tier 1 vaults to get the 10 matrixes you actually need. So first you'll be running the vault tier 1 until you have 10 matrixes. When you have the 10 matrixes, you're basically ready for the rank up requirement, but you still need 5000 reputation XP. This you will be getting from doing one tier 2 vault. Running one tier 2 vault will drop you two of the matrixes at tier 2. Two of these will turn in for 5000 reputation, which will basically take you to the threshold you need to turn in. So now when you're at this point, you're ready to actually farm your void traces. This is pretty simple. All you have to do is go to your navigation map, then look at the void fissures here, and you will have to do void fissure missions every time you run a void fissure mission you will have a chance of getting a small amount of void traces you need 150 to actually get the level up requirement so just keep running void fissures and while doing this you might also get lucky and get some nice prime parts for either frames or maybe you just want to sell some of the stuff you get from doing this now you need the siamos barrel blueprint this is pretty simple to get you just have to go to father on demos and talk to him once you talk to him you can see under his chop tab here you can actually buy it for reputation if you don't have the required amount of rep to actually buy this, I definitely recommend going to Mother and just farm Mother tokens and actually level up your reputation with the family on DMOs a little bit. After that is done, you now have to get Father tokens. This is very simple. All you have to do is turn different resources in you can gather at DMOs to Father. This will reward you with Father tokens, but keep in mind there's a time limit on them, so you can only get a certain amount every time. A quick way to get some quick Father tokens is actually just go into the Cambodian Drift, run in circles in caves and destroy all the cysts you see. I actually have a video on it right here on the corner. You can go and check that out, but it's basically a decent way of farming plastides at the same time of all the random resources the Amos actually drops. So you can get some quick father tokens by doing this. So now you're ready to go to step three, getting your broken Necromech parts. So now you have everything ready from the step before, so you should be able to rank up Lloyd without any issues. Now that you're rank one with Lloyd, you will be able to buy the broken Necromech parts. To gain the reputation here, I recommend just running Vault Tier 3 and do that until you have enough enough parts or matrix parts to turn in to get all the parts or maybe you get lucky and get the broken parts by just running the vault. In isolation vault tier 3 you will be killing 3 necromax so you have 3 chances of getting a broken part otherwise you will get a matrix part which you can turn in for reputation and just buy the broken parts you need. Alright now that you have gotten all your broken necromax parts it's actually time for step 4 of getting all of the resources for the necromax. So one of the first things before actually beginning to farm of the resources you need I would recommend going to OTAC and the necrolist 
on Deimos right here, and talk to him and browse wares. Get all of the blueprints you see here first. These are blueprints you will need doing the crafting, but also later on in the game for other things. You will need the alloy, for example, and the bathlite for the casing and engine. You will also need the embolos and the stellated necrophine. These are things you will need for crafting the necromag, but also other things in the game. So I definitely highly recommend just get all of the blueprints in here. It's a one-time infinite blueprint, so just buy them. Now we'll be going over the casing, then the engine, then the capsule, and then the weapon pod. So just skip to the things you need as you can use the timestamp underneath the video. Post tipsy here, so before we actually get into the resources, I would just like to add that you can almost get all of the resources by just doing the bonus objective in the isolation vault. This will be especially helpful when farming for the fish part, as you can get the processed fish parts here too. So first we'll be looking at the Admiral Alloy and how to craft those. So to craft this you'll need four different items right here. The first one is mined from yellow veins on Deimos, so go and mine yellow veins and you will be getting this sometime. The Travorite is dropped from red veins on Fortuna, so go to Fortuna, the open world, ice world, and go and mine there, and you will, from the red veins, be able to get Travorite. The Lucent Tarot Globe is gotten from destroying random stuff in Deimos, but it's delayed Necrophane. This is a more rare resource, so this might take you some time, but this is gotten from mining blue lesions or blue ores on Deimos. Pretty simple, straightforward, but it can take some time to get as this is one of the more rare resources to actually get out of one of the blue veins. So for the Mexostometer, as this section can be really confusing, I just want to make it a bit more in detail. So first I recommend, if you can, go get the Epsu Spear and the Processed Vome from Daughter in the Necrolist. After you have gotten that, then you're ready to head into the Cambodian Drift. Here you want to check if it's in the Vome cycle. So if it says Vome in X amount of time, you are in the right cycle. This is the Vome cycle. Then you will have to find a fishing spot in a cave. I like to use this fishing spot right here as I haven't really encountered any enemies while using it. So to begin fishing, equip your fishing spear and then throw your processed vome into the river. Now you just have to catch fish until the Mexodometer actually spawns. It's fairly simple but the Mexodometer has a very rare chance of spawning so sometimes this might take you some time. In my first run it took me around six minutes from entering to actually getting my first one and other times I got four in a row so um, yeah just go ahead fish here and or find another cave if you want to and you should be able to get it in a little bit of time. So for the Voidrig engine, you first be needing the Tempered Baphylite. You can get Baphylite normal these items from destroying Cyst on Deimos, but you can also mine them from Yellow Veins. I recommend just doing them from Cyst, as that is a faster method of actually getting a lot of them, but you will be needing to mine anyway, so just go and do both. Then you'll be needing Parol, which is found from Red Veins on a Plains of Eidolon. So go into Caves on Plains of Eidolon, mine the Red Veins, and you should be able to get your Parol pretty quickly. Then you have Nanospores, these drops from, as you see, right here, Saturn, Neptune, Aries, and Diamonds. So just go and do missions on one of those areas and just killing everything, basically do normal missions and you should be able to get your nanospores without any issues. And then again, the Lucent Tarot Glow, Cambodian Rift, go and destroy a lot of cysts and you should get this. For the biotech filler, you will have to find the fish Aqua Plumo or the Duroid, which you see right here. These are guaranteed drops, so every time you filter or process these fish, you will actually get a biotech filler, so this should be pretty easy to come by. And lastly, you'll be needing the embolos right here, which you will be able to find from blue lesions or blue ores on the MLs. These are also a pretty rare resource, so this might take you some time to get. So for the Voidrig capsule, you have the damaged necromap part you already have. Then you have the Science Intelligent. These will be obtained by finding them in isolation vaults around the ceiling. So these are like a little floating orb kind of a thing that will float around near the ceiling up in the air and you just have to jump through them. When you jump into them, you will basically get one of these. So just while you're doing your bounties or when you're doing your bounties in the isolation vault, just be on the lookout to actually look up in the ceiling to see if you actually be able to find any of these. So for the spinal core section, you'll have to fish on DMOs again and you will look for the Retro Spino or the Country Court fish. These will also spawn in caves or other areas on DMOs. So a lot of fishing on DMOs will also take place for most of these resources. And for the last resource for the Voidrig capsule, you will need to develop Namulon. Here you will need the Namulon rocks, which you will be able to find from yellow uh, lesions on DMOs. So mine again. Then pharaohs you'll be able to find from red veins on Plains of Eidolon, Cetus on Earth, in caves or 
different areas. The Rubio is found in missions on Earth, Lua, Phobos, Europa, Pluto, Setna, and Void. You will be able to find these in basically any normal missions on the star chart, as long as you are in one of these areas here. And again, for the Lucent Chero Globe, desist on Deimos. For the Void Rig Weapon Pot, you will need the Biotech Filters again, so fish more of the Aqua Puma, uh, Droids fish on Deimos. For the Thaumatic Distillite, you will need the Thaumatica, which is found from Yellow Veins on Deimos. The Veneral, which is found from Red Veins on Fortuna. Gallium, which you can find on Mars and Uranus in missions, normal missions. These will also be able to drop from enemies, but also from certain things on the floor, which are like a little ore, basically. And then the Lucent and Terror Globe again. And for the last piece of resource you will need is the Trapsium Senohast, which can be found from Blue Legions or Blue Ores on the Amos. This is basically the last resource you will be needing to actually craft these Void Rig Pots. So now that you have gotten all of your resources and are ready to craft your Void Rig capsule, casing, engine and weapon pot, you should just start those up so they start crafting. This will take you 12 hours because after that is done, you will then have to craft the main part of the Necromech or the Void Rig and this will take you 72 hours. So after all of the Void Rig stuff has been crafted, you will then craft the main blueprint you got from the Heart of the Amos quest. And once that is done, you now have unlocked your Necromech. Once the Necromech is unlocked, I recommend you to go to your arsenal right here and then click onto your gear wheel and you should be able to find a Necromech summon ability. So this ability right here, I would recommend putting that on your gear wheel so you can actually summon your Necromech in mission that allows it. So you have that on. And also now that you have your Necromech, you can go into your Void Rig Necromech here and you should have gotten your Void Rig. So that is basically how you get your Necromech or the Void Rig for your Necromech. And it is fairly simple. It is definitely going to take some time and a good amount of grinding, but it will definitely be worth it in the end as it allows access to later points of the game and also the newer stuff they're adding to the game. So definitely go and get your Necromech. Uh, if you actually want to get to like the rotation and game of the game, like the story and everything like that. Also, you found this video helpful. I would very much appreciate it if you left a comment. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on that. We also do have a clan we have made called the Community. Feel free to ask for an invite to that if you want to join that. But yeah, join the Discord, all of that. And yeah, hopefully you found the video helpful. And that's about it. See you next time and peace out. Bye bye.